algae will make you want to say geez, not because it is terrible, but because it doesn't look great in your aquarium. Despite its usefulness in our ecosystem and life, the presence of excessive algae in the tank is commonly a representation of poor water quality, exposure to too much light, a lack of carbon dioxide, or nutrient imbalance. All these can affect the health of both your fish and their tank. To familiarize yourself with the algae that can grow in your aquarium, I'll highlight some before we go on with the algae eating species. So folks, let's start with the green water. This was caused by the tiny phytoplankton that grows in the water column. Although it isn't as bad as it looks, your animals will likely be fine in green water for short periods. Next is the green spot algae or choliochate, which can be seen as tiny round green patches growing on the glass, hardscape, plant leaves, or equipment in your tank. The third is the green dust algae, which looks like a green film that is unsightly but pretty harmless and typically lasts for just a few weeks. Another algae is the green fuzz algae, which is one of the types that are often referred to as filamentous algae and tends to develop in tanks with a nutrient imbalance. Next is the green beard algae, a common type found in planted and fish-only tanks. We also have on our list the black brush algae, a type of algae that many aquarists dread due to its toughness to remove, and few animals are interested in eating it. Next is the blanket weed, similar to green fuzz algae, which can cover just about any surface in your aquarium, including live plants. Green thread algae is another filamentous algae common in cycling tanks. Meanwhile, the water silk is also a type of filamentous algae that tends to occur when nutrients and light are out of balance. Another type is the hair algae, which creates long, fine strands that often grow from aquatic plants. Lastly is the staghorn algae, which is typically found growing on your hardscape or live plants and can be a sign of a nutrient imbalance or lack of carbon dioxide. Apart from the true algae types I've mentioned, your tank can experience other algae infestations and ailments such as brown algae or diatoms, blue-green algae, surface scum, cloudy or stained water, and white fungus. Luckily, something can stop this pesky algae's growth, and it's through the outstanding organic solution of choosing suitable aquatic animals to add to your aquarium. That's why in today's video, to help you with your algae problems, I'll be breaking down the 12 best algae eaters for your freshwater tank. Without further ado, fellas, let's start with the leading algae eater on our list, the Amano Shrimp. This shrimp's name was derived from Takashi Amano, a legendary Japanese aquarist known for crafting aquarium landscapes. Like the greatness of where the shrimp's name originated, the Amano Shrimp is also one of the best algae eaters, reported to eat the dreaded black brush algae. Apart from that, these not-so-colorful yet peaceful creatures are an excellent option for tanks that is too small for algae-eating fish. Next on our list is the Autosynclus catfish, which preys on soft green algae and diatoms. This fish is considered the best nano-algae-eating fish in the hobby. These bottom-dwelling, sensitive algae-eating fish require the maintenance of excellent water quality. Autosynclus catfish or dwarf suckerfish are 100% safe to keep with shrimp. They are known for wiping out algae in an aquarium and thus their food source. Make sure you make efforts to feed them so they don't starve for doing too good of a job. Mollies originating in North and South America are ranked third on our list. Also known as Posilia SPP, this fish can be considered one of the most common aquarium fish, yet it might not be the best freshwater algae eater you can have in your tank. However, mollies are very beneficial to purchase due to their appetite for surface scum in the aquarium. This feature is something that other algae eating fish aren't great at controlling. Well, I could dare say that this is indeed a holy molly. For the fourth algae eater on our list, I'm honored to present the horned nerite snail. Originating in Southeast Asia, these snails that vary a lot in color are known for being excellent algae eaters for your freshwater aquariums. You can distinguish them from other snails by looking at their horns that grow from their shells. These funky animals won't give you any problems, and they are the only reasonable option for removing black brush algae from your tank. 
The zebra nerite snails is your next attractive freshwater algae eater. These snails will fit into your nano aquarium and can live for years without reproducing in your tank like regular ramshorn snails. Surprisingly, zebra nerite snails don't eat plants. Although they will lay eggs on the glass, it's no problem since they will hatch and take over. If there's a zebra nerite snail, there is also the tiger nerite snail on our list. Unlike the zebra nerite snail with a striped pattern, the tiger nerite has a stunning row of black markings on its golden orange shell. These snails are most likely to feed on green spot algae, green dust algae, and diatoms and will do better in more challenging water as this keeps their shells strong and looking great. Speaking of the word great, we would be beyond grateful if you would like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more aquarium related topics in your subscription feeds. Don't forget to ring the bell notification so you won't miss out on our daily uploads. Going back to our 12 best algae eaters, meet the mystery snail. This peaceful snail likes to target hair algae and will finish the leftover fish food, decaying plants, and other food sources in your tank. This snail with a bright colored shell can reproduce in your fish tank, but the good thing is that it doesn't usually breed out of control. So it's no longer a mystery why this snail reached our list. A Siamese algae eater is the next best algae eater you can place in your giant aquarium. These freshwater aquarium sharks grow to over 6 inches in length and are one of the only algae eater fish that will feed on blackbeard algae. Although Siamese algae eaters and Chinese algae eaters are very tricky to compare due to their similarity, it's good to note that they grow much more significantly than them and are known for some aggressive behaviors. The number 9 spot will go to the freshwater gobby. Also known as Stephodon gobbies, these excellent fish are enjoyable to watch as they float around the aquarium, feeding on algae such as soft green algae, diatoms, blue green algae, and black brush algae. Although freshwater gobies fit great in a community tank, you must avoid keeping them with any large predatory fish as they may be prey. Bristlenose pleco that originated in South America is an effective algae-eating catfish you can have. The bristlenose pleco's interesting looking features give it an advantage over other fish in terms of personality, but it will be territorial when mature. That's why keeping only one bristlenose in your tank is recommended. When the bristlenose pleco does not engage in algae control, these fish love to hide away in a sheltered spot, so be sure to pick up some aquarium cave ornaments for them to hang out in. Glass shrimp is next on our list. This shrimp was named a ghost shrimp because they are great members of any aquarium cleanup crew. These affordable and fascinating animals might not be your first choice when picking an algae eater. Still, they help and are excellent at cleaning up uneaten fish food. Glass shrimp for a clearer view of your tank. Moving on to the last algae eater on our list, I present the cherry shrimp. These colorful crustaceans love to feed on algae and biofilm in the aquarium and are great for beginner hobbyists. Like some other algae eaters mentioned, cherry shrimp can help keep your tank looking clean. But to ensure the shrimp's safety, you must place them together with nanofish that won't eat them. Removing algae from your tank is difficult, especially if you have no idea which aquatic species can best help you with the task. But did you know that despite the presence of the 12 best algae eaters, there's this possibility that algae growth will continue infesting your aquarium? That's why you must make some adjustments when it comes to the following factors. First is your source water. If your tap water is high in nutrients like nitrate and phosphates, it is fuel for excessive algae growth. Find out the levels in your source water or consider RO or RODI plus mineralized water so you can have the cleanest fresh water available for your tank. Next is growing live plants, like the healthy, fast-growing Valesneria will outcompete the algae for nutrients while lowering the nutrient level in the water simultaneously. Third is lowering aquarium lights because algae often thrive under bright lights. But if you prefer not to change your lights, reducing your photo period or day length can also be very helpful. Fourth is using an algae removing product, such as the APT Fix, a spot dosage treatment you can use on BBA, string, hair, fuzz, and film algae. 
APT Fix is an excellent product if you have a planted aquarium. Overfeeding must be stopped, and putting the tank on a diet should also be considered because the uneaten food that becomes a great source of nutrients for algae, which is the last thing you want. Next is avoiding overstocking because, apart from fish food, the other significant source of excess nutrients in your tank is fish waste. So the more fish you have, the more waste they can produce. And of course, folks, proper maintenance. If you adjust your tank but don't do it more often, keeping algae out of your aquarium will not be effective. It's also good to note that performing water changes and vacuuming your gravel regularly will help keep your tank clean. And since algae eaters range in size from tiny algae eating shrimp to large fish that can measure over a foot in length, you should be sure to research the maximum size of any animal before introducing it to your freshwater aquarium. I hope you find this discussion helpful in choosing the best algae eater for your tank. Make sure to like this video and follow our website at aquariumstoredepot.com for more helpful tips to make your fish keeping journey fun and exciting. Thank you for watching!